Here we go. Woo! That was bright. It's kind of funny. The light from the fire is shedding more light on their product than their tech support can. <laughs> nice. Cool thumbnail too. I am making this video specifically because I hate Bosch. Uh, we have a customer, a new customer, who had a Bosch for a few years, and it developed a leak in a plastic component. And he's had a few companies out here to replace it, or replace the part that's leaking. And each time Bosch, the first time Bosch told them the wrong part, and it happened again, <clears throat> and then they called us. And with the right part, once we disassembled to put the new one in, some of the parts that had to be reused were completely destroyed. They were just like shattered, disintegrated, and falling apart inside of it. And I'll show you those parts. I have a few clips of me taking it apart, and a few clips of me putting it together. But part that needed to be replaced was nowhere to be found and it had to be ordered from Bosch which took Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday. The part arrived and it's the wrong part. So <clears throat> not only is it the wrong part, it's also one of the parts that they have already sent out which didn't need replacement which I don't know how they didn't keep any record of the parts that they've been sending out because the customer has a whole order number and everything, but I'm now waiting outside um, for the customer to come back here because somehow they were able to secure the part. Uh, Bosch was able to get it for them and I now have to wait for them to come back from the 45 minute drive to put the part in and I guarantee something else is gonna fail when I put it all together something's gonna leak there are so many connections that are crappy um, it's just a nightmare so here's some clips it's out and that was incredibly difficult what time is it Peter Four o'clock. So 45 minutes just to get the piece out. And hope everything goes back together without leaking. And this piece is just completely stuck on this piece of copper. I'm not messing with it. I'm not snapping it off, but it's supposed to come off. I had to disconnect the two copper bolts right there, and of course I can't even pull them out because they don't have room to actually get them out. But it's out. Okay, so I'm at a Bosch Green Star right now, and this stinks. Okay, so Bosch sent a part, gave a part. Now I'm going to open it up and show you what they sent, which is still not everything they said they would send, so we're still short parts, but they sent this piece as a replacement for this, which they did say was going to include this as well, and it didn't, but it is what it is, we'll reuse it, and... I have to reassemble everything into this new return assembly, which came with nothing but a few gaskets, even though we needed more than that. With this new part, which this is the second one they've sent, because they don't keep track of what they're sending out to the customer and what they know hasn't failed. And here are all of the connections that need to be... Here are all of the connections that need to be re connected and 
we need to pray that they don't leak because they're all just showing immense, immense corrosion. You can see all the corrosion around the circulator. And same for the connections down here. So I'm going to get started putting everything together and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I finished up. Uh, I was only there for about an hour, but I actually went in nice and easy, surprisingly. And uh, no leaks, it's heating, it's providing his hot water. So the customer is thrilled that he has it now for Thanksgiving. It is Wednesday, it's 5.30, and uh, I'll be off, but I'll be off Thanksgiving, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is nice. Um, Mike showed up to the job too, just uh, I guess for moral support. But um, it took five days to get the right part from Bosch. They sent the first part out a day late, or no, they, they sent the first part, but they sent the second part out a day late. That part also <coughs> wasn't everything that we needed. And with the blown up parts diagram in front of me, the same exact one that the Bosch guy had in the parts department, I confirmed with him every single part that I needed and a few extra gaskets and things. And they failed to send everything. Even up until today, we still did not have everything that we requested from them and that the customer had paid for. Uh, they've changed the part numbers countless times. They've changed the part catalogs countless times. Even the people at Bosch are looking at different parts diagrams and parts catalogs. Like they don't even have one singular parts diagram that they can use as a guide. I was sent two different parts diagrams. A customer was sent a completely different parts diagram it's absurd how chaotic the company is. And then for them to say multiple times that they're sending one thing and not sending it is pretty ridiculous. Um, the homeowner's wife ended up calling Bosch and flipping out on them and then coordinating with the supply house, which I had spoken with, and I couldn't get the part from the supply house in time. I had to submit from another supply house because they wouldn't supply to me directly. And I was too far to even get it in time. Luckily, the wife was getting off of work and she drove by after flipping out with them. Uh, they left the part out by a fire hydrant because they were closing and she picked up the part. And even though it wasn't everything we needed, it worked. And, you know, now they have running heat, but the amount of headache that this took is absolutely insane. I mean, I know I haven't been doing this for that long, but I've never experienced or seen anyone experience such a difficult time getting parts that are, like, within the state. It's not like they need it to be custom-ordered or made, or it's a rare part. This is the part, a part that supposedly commonly needs to be replaced on one of their most popular and most expensive boilers that they're pushing very hard in our area. So it just, it doesn't make any sense. And getting technical support to, to take things apart and put things together, I couldn't. I, they didn't know what to say to me. They didn't know their own machines. I had to look at the parts diagram, which it, granted wasn't that difficult, but I had to look at the parts diagram and see how everything was blown out and how to just compress it all back together, how to decompress it and then compress it. Like other brand combi units, they send 
not only the parts that need to be replaced, but the gaskets that will also need to be replaced. They can inform you other issues that might be going on that maybe you can't see right away, or maybe you need to pull things apart to see. And they prepare you for replacing things, and they're able to send you exactly what you need. And they also send instructions, or they have instructional videos on how to make the repairs, which, if this Bosch product is supposed to be so great that they're so willing to stand behind and push and want everybody to be selling, then what, where is that? You know, like, we're, we're the ones that are installing it, we're the ones that are working on it, and it's near impossible for us to get anything. Somehow it's easier for the homeowners to get things. But even then, there's no, no technical support there to help. Nope. <clears throat> Other few times I've needed technical support, it's been a nightmare, uh, like four or five times. And I've been pretty much left on my own or with Mikey Pipes to try to figure it out. And they just don't seem to have any sort of organization or... I mean, it's just absurd. It makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't understand how a company can function this way. But it is what it is. I hate Bosch. I will forever hate Bosch. I am... I'm gonna burn my Bosch hat for this video because I hate them that much. I am dreading the next time that I have to work on one. And all these people that are from the UK and Australia or wherever in the group chat that we talk in, they all hate them too and how difficult they are to repair and how the same thing over and over happens. The plastics on the machine are breaking because it's all cheap plastic parts, everything's impossible to get to, and you're just from taking parts apart, parts are breaking because the plastic is so brittle and so destroyed by the just the flow of water through it. So, yeah, I'm gonna burn the Bosch hat. I'm burning the Bosch hat right now. Okay, so. Got the Bosch hat. Let's get some gasoline. Uh, do I want two stroke? That will go with the regular. This is going to be so nice to watch. <sighs> Got the fire pit. The funny thing too is the plastic that this cheap hat is made out of actually feels better than the plastic they make their parts with. I hate these new gas containers. These stupid safety lids and safety spouts. Here we go. That was bright. It's kind of funny. The light from the fire is shedding more light on their product than their tech support can. <sighs> nice. Cool thumbnail too. So I'm home now and I really just can't comprehend how everybody has different parts diagrams, different part numbers, different everything at technical support in the parts department. There's no, I don't know, un uniformity um, between any of them. So if, if they can't get their situation together, how are they supposed to be able to help us who they're trying to tell we should be installing their product and then sending out things that aren't what they said they're going to send or don't include everything they said that it would include. 
I had very, very thorough conversations with them, naming down every single number of every single part with the diagrams that I know they had the same copy of because I asked them to send me an email of what diagram they're looking at before I told them what parts I needed. And they still, even to when it was fixed, they have still not sent all the parts that we requested and that the customer paid for. But, uh, it is what it is. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. I'd appreciate any any input from anybody else. Uh, maybe advice or maybe feedback or more Bosch criticism. But, uh, yeah. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. I hate Bosch. Thank you for watching.